Now, after an agonizingly long wait, the shadow of the Erd Tree is about to arrive. And it's no surprise, while we are extraordinarily excited, we also have a lot of questions on how to prepare ourselves for this major DLC. So in this video, I will try to answer the most common and burning questions, and to give you a few tips that can help you to get a great start. But of course, before anything else, let's see the official trailers. Of enormous power fell into the hands of the demigods. And although the demigods fought for control, in the end, there was no victor. And so began an era without a lord. Until, from across the sea of fog, a tarnished of no renown arrives at the lands between. The tarnished takes their first steps into the world, knowing not what awaits them. Greetings, traveler from beyond the fog. I am Melina. I offer you an accord. The Tarnished accepts Melina's request and begins a journey to bring her to the base of the Erd Tree. As they explore, the lands between become known to the Tarnished. And they gain power, shaping themselves in their own way. Throughout their journey, they cross paths with unlikely allies. Death has left its mark once again. Rise with us against the Erd Tree. Listen, the fingers speak. And fearsome foes that stand in their way. One tarnished, growing in strength with every trial, who crossed the fog to the lands between, to stand before the Elden Ring and become the Elden Lord. The lands between are yours to discover. Nicola the Kind spoke of the beginning. The seduction and the betrayal. An affair from which gold arose. And so too was Shadow born. What followed was a war unseen. One that could never be put to song. A purge without grace or honor. The tyranny of Mesmer's flame.
And so kindly, Mikula would abandon everything. His golden flesh. His blinding strength. Even his fate. But we are not deterred. We choose to follow. Will you walk with us? Pure and radiant, he wields love to shrive clean the hearts of men. There is nothing more terrifying. In that forsaken place, blood must spill. Blood of your fellows. They are truly faithful. They were never saints. They just happened to be on the losing side of a war. Truly, Lordship Sanction, in one so bereft of light. I presume you, too, are keen to know just what kind Mikola is doing here. Of the race of gold shall all meet death in the race of restless flame. Come now, touch the withered arm and travel to the realm of shadow. I will not be far behind. May we meet again. No. Elden Ring Shadow of the Erd Tree is not a prequel. Though many fans believed we might be time traveling for this expansion, Miyazaki confirmed in the Famitsu interview that Shadow of the Erd Tree it will take place at the same time as the vanilla game. Though it hasn't been confirmed officially, it's very likely you can play Shadow of the Erd Tree after beating Elden Ring, since the game doesn't force you to begin a NG plus cycle. Yes, Shadow of the Erd Tree will feature a new map that's separate to the existing one in the game currently. Director Hidetaka Miyazaki has said that it's larger even than Limgrave and will have open-ended locations, massive legacy dungeons, and medium-sized areas that sound like a middle ground between these two. Yes, Shadow of the Erd Tree will add new weapons. Specifically, eight new categories of weapons are coming in the DLC, and there will be plenty of new armors, spells, ashes of war, and other types of gear to collect, too. Yes, Shadow of the Erd Tree will add over ten new boss fights, including one against Mesmer the Impaler, another against a massive walking brazier-like enemy, and more. Notably, there will be difficult bosses like Millennia that are off the DLC's main path, 
and don't need to be beaten, but can be challenged if players want to do so. As far as I know, From Software hasn't given any official estimates on how long a playthrough of Shadow of the Erd Tree will take, but given that the map is said to be Limgrave sized, I'm guessing it'll be a 30, 50 hour experience. To access the Shadow of the Erd Tree DLC, you will need to touch Mikella's Withered On after defeating Mog, Lord of Blood, in the Mogwin Palace area. I'd say that there is no wrong answer here, but be aware that you can't unlevel your character, so if you think you'll regret anything, I still recommend stopping between levels 120, 150 to ensure you're ready for the Land of Shadow without being overleveled. Finally, I'd like to share with you a few general tips that could help you to have a better start and a new exciting and glorious journey. As you already know, most enemies do physical damage, so a talisman like the Dragon Crest Great Shield Talisman is always great to have on hand. Also, if you want 8% extra health, the best medallion is the Crimson Amber Medallion Plus 2. And needless to say, the more flasks and talisman slots you have the better, so is always a good idea to increase those before starting the DLC. Also. Don't forget to max out your weapons and spirit ashes. Another good way to make any character more powerful is to have a good set of correctly stacked temporary buffs, the most important ones being the body and area buffs, for example the boiled crab and the flame grant me strength. And of course don't forget that you can always respect if you want to test out the new weapons and spells available in Shadow of the Earth Tree, so it's a good idea to have several larval tiers which will enable you to respect at Renala. Speaking of weapons, obviously there are many smithing stone weapons to take into consideration as starting weapons for the DLC. Of course, it depends on your playstyle and your character stats, but weapons like the Uchigatana, the Zweihander, the Great Stars, the Guardian's Sword Spear, the Godskin Peeler, the Clayman's Harpoon, the Star Scourge Greatsword, the Antspur Rapier, or the Bloodhound's Fang could be really good choices to start this new epic journey. And don't forget to stock up on smithing stones and glove words, because the Shadow of the Erd Tree adds about a hundred new weapons and several new spirit summons. Lastly, but not least importantly, you should know that there are two new important items in the DLC. One is called the Skadu Tree Fragment, and the other one is called the Revered Spirit Ash. The first one boosts your damage while also reducing the damage that you take, and the second one boosts the damage of your spirit ashes. In other words, exploring will be literally vital during this new journey. So